Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, I showed you how to build a simple TCP IP client server chat application. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn the server console app into a Windows service. If you haven't seen the previous video, you can find the pinned link in the comments. First, open the server app project. Then go to manage NuGet packages and search for Serilog. Then install the packages for file logging. Serilog is a logging library for .NET. It lets us write logs to files or other outputs. And it also allows filtering by levels like information, warning and error. We install it so we can see what's going on in the background. When the server starts, stops or has an error, we want it to be logged. Let's create a class named chat server worker, then make it inherit from background service. Next, we'll copy the code from the program.cs file into the chat server worker class. Execute async is the starting point of the background task. It runs right after the host starts. Inside it, we create the TCP server, subscribe to its events, and start listening. Then we wait with an infinite delay, which keeps the worker running until the service is stopped. When the host shuts down, the cancellation token is triggered and the task ends. Next, to log the steps, replace any write line calls with log information. This writes the messages to the log file instead of the console. You can also use log warning or log error if you need to log any issues. Now, let's open the program.cs file and add the following code. First, we build a full path to our log file. This creates a logs folder next to the executable and stores a log file inside it. Next, we set up Serilog. We log messages starting from the information level and we write them to the file path we created. The rolling interval set today creates a new log file each day. Then we start a try block and log a startup message. If anything goes wrong, we catch the error and write a fatal log. To run the console app as a Windows service, we need to install the Microsoft.extensions.hosting.windows services package. After that, we build the generic host. Use Windows Service enables Windows Service mode. Use Serilog connects Serilog to the host. Add hosted service registers our chat server worker so it runs in the background. Finally, we build the host and run it. Now switch your solution to release and build the project. Then open the release output folder and copy the entire folder to the machine where you want the service to run. Make sure the folder has read and write permissions for the service account. If you're using local system, it usually already has access but the logs still need write permission. Now open command prompt as administrator, then use the sc command to install the service. You can also install the service using PowerShell. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see your service appear in services.msc. Open the services window, find TCP chat service and click start. Once the service is running, go to the logs folder next to the executable and open the log file. You should see log messages. 
when clients connect you'll see connect and disconnect logs and if something goes wrong look for error or fatal entries That's it. We've created a window service from our chat server console app. We added serilog, wrote log to a file, and hosted the server in the background. You can also start and stop the service using the SE command and if you ever need to remove it, you can delete the service after stopping it. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and share it. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.